With my gangs, when I was 12 years old, we took over the drug, the drug trade. We took it over, you know, me and my gang. I have a bullet that was lodged here, one here. I have the bullet that penetrated, broke my two ribs, came out. I have a bullet in my arm, behind here, and across my neck. Police have allayed fears of a fifth attempt on gang leader Vince Foccarelli's life, arresting him on drug charges and keeping him in custody. After surviving the fourth attempt on his life, frustrating police. He doesn't want any support from police uh, at this stage. And uh, so there's very little we can do without his cooperation. Vince Boccarelli may be a marked man. The son of a bikey leader has been killed and his father wounded in a shooting in Adelaide overnight. Vince Boccarelli survived one of the six assassination attempts, but lost his stepson Giovanni in the tragedy. As soon as Johnny came to the front, I said, Johnny shot Johnny, and I put him into the car, and the assassin shot me, boom, 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 four times. Drove the car as fast as I could. Johnny's door shut, uh, and I remember spitting blood. And uh, his green eyes were lifeless. When I saw the bubbles go into the mouth, I thought, so what I did, I said, La ilaha illallah for me, and I asked Allah, Excuse me. I asked Allah to accept my la ilaha illallah for him because he couldn't say it and he didn't say it. So I would ask Allah to accept his la ilaha illallah. And uh, so they arrest me and threw me into prison. The hardest part for me, watching my son's janaza, you know, the funeral on TV, everything was numb. But to watch his janaza on TV in a prison cell and not be Part of it, I've never seen Giovanni ever, ever speak a bad word or stamp his feet or fold his arm towards his mother. This is the level of love, respect, honor and appreciation this young man had for his mother. But I've never met anyone so loyal, so disciplined and so fearless. Remember, he died protecting his father. I was very privileged to be part of his life. I want to say, unfortunately, my stepson Johnny was with me, but I'm going to say, fortunately, he was there because Allah chose him to be there at that time. Found the true meaning of Islam, Vince Vokarali soon left the worlds of gangs and violence and becoming a devout Muslim. Um, Allah chose me at the time he felt was appropriate for me. We were doing criminal stuff, we were intoxicated by drugs and alcohol and they started talking about Rasulullah But what caught my attention, I mean my radar came up as soon as they met Isa Islam, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Because as you know, as a Roman Catholic, he was, he was our king, our God, our everything, you know. When they started talking about him, I said, what do you know about Jesus Christ, you know, like, what do you mean? He's, a, he's one of our beloved prophets. I said, excuse me? So the more they spoke, I kid you not, I'm like a kid like this, listening to my favorite show. I couldn't get away from it. I was so impressed and so convinced that Islam is the true religion. This was such on a high level of purity, of beauty, of understanding. I felt so free. I know now that Allah was bringing that peace into my heart. So that was my, my, uh, my shahada at a time. And the hidayah came at that time. So, my intentions, I believe, were sincere because I know my personal connection. I know the tears I shared with Allah. I know that I felt guilty and stuff like that. So, do I believe Allah will forgive me? Yes. If I don't believe that, then what am I following? My God is a merciful God. He's a loving God. He's a forgiving God. His mother's love and support helped him to become a better man every day. And he using every precious moment to give it back. First of all, my full-time job is my mum, you know. She uh, needs 24-hour care. Now, she can't walk at all, dying of stage four cancer. Please make du'a for her. So I'm a personal trainer, especially with self-defense. I love my little lions that live at this residence. I try to teach them self-defense, confidence, humility, and self-respect, not just for themselves, but for all the kids. And now, the gangster turned devout Muslim stand along with PPIM to fight for the rights of people.